What's happening guys, so it's Lumario here, and I thought I'd just bring you a VGC 14 uh, live narrated battle. Um, after seeing quite a few people, uh, most notably Aaron Zhang, um, Shofu, and quite a few other people um, doing such things, I figured why not um, do one myself. Um, it's obviously been in the works for a while too, because I've had a capture card for a little while now, so... Um, yeah, when I haven't been working on the Pokemon Battle Tower cha um, channel, um, it's a bit, just been meaning to get around this and all the other things I do in my life. Um, so my team consists of Talonflame, Mega Manectric, Meowstic, Salamence, uh, Bishop, and Wigglytuff. The core of this team is obviously you've got Double Intimidate, but Meowstic also has Charm, so it can get to you can get an opponent to minus three in one turn. Um, Wigglytuff and Bishop there are uh, there to take advantage of opposing Intimidates. And Talonflame is there because it's Talonflame. So um, I've been trying to stray away from some of the more popular Pokemon in the format. Um, namely being Kangaskhan and Rotom. And obviously I, I was very reliant on um, both before in my previous teams. So my opponent um, is going to have Magnetric, Noivern, Amoongus, Azumarill, Garchomp and Eggy Slash. Um, I'm probably thinking at this stage that... Uh, will bring... I don't see any priority outside of possibly Eggy Slash and Azumarill. Um, I'm going to bring Meowstic. Uh, bring Meowstic. Manectric. Um, probably bring Wigglytuff. And... Talon Flame. I think that's the best mix to, do, to deal with his team among what I can hit and what I can and can't do. Oh, uh, this questionable. I think I might actually get rid of. Actually, no. Okay, we'll get rid of Talon Flame and use Bishop instead. To deal with Aggie Slash a bit better. Because while I would be able to smash Amoongus with Talon Flame, I do have Meowstic um, acting with Safeguard, so I don't have to worry about Amoongus too much. But that Aggie Slash is definitely something to be afraid of. So he leads off with Aggie Slash and Garchomp, and I'll lead off with um, my Manectric and my Meowstic. So what I will do is I'm going to charm um, Garchomp and then I'm going to Mega Revolve and Protect. Um, I'm guessing that Garchomp may go for, um, may end up going for Protect, predicting my HP Ice. Or I could Mega Revolve and go for the Snarl straight off. So I think I might actually do that. Yeah, let's do that. Because I'm almost almost certain that he may overpredict and go for protect, predicting the HP ice. So this way, I get Garchomp to minus three if he doesn't protect. Yeah, he does protect. Okay, that's good then. So now I've got this. Uh, Aegis Slash to minus one special attack. So what attack was... Yep, yeah, Shadow Ball. And yeah, Meowstic. So this will activate my uh, Citrus Berry. But I'm thinking before Meowstic um, goes down... I should consider setting up Safeguard. Because I don't want that Amoongus to come in later and troll me to hell with Spore. If I can help to avoid it. Or I might be better off getting Garchomp to minus three. I say we get Garchomp to minus three. And I'm going to Snarl again. 
So I think this Aegi Slash is gone for King's Shield. And seeing the Snarl, it doesn't want to take another drop. Um, this Garchomp is now at minus three. So even if it does go for the Earthquake, um, I'm not too fast. So we'll get a little bit of damage off on Garchomp. See how much Earthquake does. It doesn't do as much as it could. It certainly doesn't get enough, do enough to get into KO range. So what I might do now is I'm going to safeguard now. I don't envision um, Meowstic having much more viable use out here. And I'm going to HP Ice the Garchomp, assuming that Protect... No, no, I may Snarl just to keep the pressure up on that Aegislash. Slash. Yeah, so I did... Yeah, so the Protect obviously did come into play. So Snarl will be used to further um, hamper... Eggy Slash's special attack stat and get some damage off. So it's gonna be interesting to see who he attacks. I'm guessing the owl stick. So he goes to Flash Cannon. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Maybe he's predicting a switch, maybe he misclicked. But he did get a special defense drop. Okay. At this stage I probably would be switching guard chomp if I were him. So one thing I may consider is uh Charming the Garchomp and going for HP Ice. So at this stage, I have not shown HP Ice, so I don't think he will suspect me having it. So we'll, we'll go for HP Ice and Garchomp. So there we go. So at this stage, I, I'm in a good position. On one hand, I've got a Garchomp that's now at minus five attack, and if, it, if you did switch, the whatever switched in would be a, an attack drop. HP Ice does got, um, KO this Garchomp. So yeah, I'm in a favorable position now, which is good. So even if Amongus does come in, um, he's going to have to deal with the fact that I do have Safeguard up. So Azumarill comes out. So what I will do is I will charm the Azumarill and protect with um, Electric. Uh, it's a bit, a bit of a rush turn, but I am trying to milk um, my advantage here as well. So he's tried to predict the T-Bolt, um, and I've opted not to give him that advantage of a special attack boost. So the Azumarill has gone for Belly Drum. Um, it will probably be at plus four. Um, I do intend to use another charm, which will only bring it down to plus two in the end. So at this stage, I have nerfed um, the Azumarill somewhat. Um, I am going to... I think what I will do is I will... Stay... Why stay in? Okay, what I might do is I may... Uh, huh. I'm going to snarl the Manectric. Um, because I don't want the... Actually, no, let's switch out. Okay, we will switch out the Bishop. Um, I'm going to predict that... Uh, he's either going to want to flat out get rid of my, uh... Oh no, he does, does go for protect. Okay, so that means the Zoomerall will probably end up going for Meowstic because this Meowstic is causing the so much trouble in trying to get off reliable damage. So he goes for the Aqua Jet, um... And, yeah. From there... I'm going to bring in Manectric again. And that's going to force him to switch out, because now he's at minus 5. His Belly Drum is 
is gone. Um, well, yeah, he's only at plus one now, actually. So, yeah, effectively, he's only a plus one in Zoomeral. And there's not a lot he can do. Uh, so I'm going to protect from Electric, and I'm going to attack the... Uh, I'm going to attack uh, his... I think I will attack his Azumarill. Um, I am suspecting that he may have superpower, but then again, if I also sucker punch the, yeah, I guess at this stage of the battle it wouldn't ca it wouldn't matter too much because Nectric's at such low health that I need to deal with this Azumarill. Yeah, as, as expected. So he goes to Flamethrower. And uh, would have, I would have held on anyway, because I do have the Focus Sash. So, actually no, sorry, I do have the Life Orb. I don't know why I was thinking of um, Focus Sash. But yeah, I think at this stage it was a smarter play, consi everything considered. What I'm going to do is I'm going to Snarl and daz uh, Dazzling Gleam just to get off damage in both areas. So, it's now one on two, and I'm keen to see if I can take out his um, Eggy Slash. I am carrying Assault Vest, but he just now give me the competitive boost. So I'm keen to see how well I take this T-Bolt. I do unfortunately get paralyzed. Um, the Fire Blast does connect, so it probably will echo Eggy Slash. Oko, sorry. So now, I have to see whether or not I can break through Power Hacks and KO this Manectric. Um, if this Manectric gets a crit, probably won't survive, but I do have the Assault Vest, so all I have to do is hope that I hit now. And I'm going to finish off Manectric with a plus two Hyper Beam, assuming I can hit. So will I live? Yes. No! You are kidding me. Oh, what is the accuracy of Hyper Beam? Oh, you are kidding me. Ni 90 accuracy and it does not hit. Oh, that, that's, that's so bad. L losing a game to hacks, that, that is the worst thing possible. If it's not para hacks, it's accuracy hacks. That is so troll worthy. My opponent should have not won that match. But we all have those matches. Like the other day when um, Battle Spot was down, I was doing a ratings free match and um, my opponent had minimized Chandelure. And no matter what I did, um, yeah, it just did not work out. But um, thank you for watching. Um, unfortunate result. <laughs> Very cringeworthy as well. But um, please be sure to check back later. Rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll have another battle for you soon. Thanks, guys.